Hey everybody, how we doing today? So a really late start, it's 6.30. Uh, I waited until about six o'clock for a post office delivery and they just still haven't shown up yet. So I said, screw it, I'm gonna gamble. Hopefully it gets delivered to me and not somewhere down the street. But uh, anyways, I think what I'm gonna do is do a quickie lobster, do another dinner. Haven't eaten anything all day. Uh, love these trips because it's kind of like I have to get out, exercise, all my equipment gets a warm up, get a nice dinner, and uh, good to go. So that's the quick plan for today. Well, it's pretty weird seeing those lobsters out in the open flats like that. I was just running into them because I was swimming around the mangroves and they're out in the open. So with this ripping current, I guess they come out and feed or do something, wander around. Usually that's what happens at nighttime. They come out from their hiding spaces and then come out on the grass flats. But those couple were just hanging out. So uh, some of these holes are filled in with some nice full-size ones, so that's good to see. Uh, they didn't get touched at all for the first week and a half of uh, open season, so that pretty much uh, means they'll probably survive all the way throughout till the cold time. So yeah, my spots really didn't get touched, so I'm happy. So let me go pick one up for dinner and let's get going. We've got our lobster for dinner, so we're good to go. Uh, very cool to see right here. It's basically the sun just set, so it's uh, getting darker now. And uh, how active those lobsters get. I mean, they were coming up wanting to do a gang fight against me. They're all just staged up like, bring it on. <laughs> but uh, that and then seeing them start moving out onto the flats. I'm swimming back out. They're not tucked in anymore. They're out 
past where uh, onto the actual flat. So that's when the uh, bully netting comes into play. I guess uh, one calm knot, I should come out here and do that. I mean, I could pick them up just this easy, so it's not a big priority, but I guess it'd be something different and seeing how active they are, that's pretty cool. So let's head on in, pray my package is on my porch and uh, cook this guy up. Okay, I hope you enjoyed the uh, vegan lobster salad. <laughs> I'm going to put that in the title and see how that goes. But uh, anyways, uh, fun to catch, fun to make, pretty quick and easy. Definitely the uh, healthiest uh, lobster catch and cook that I've done. Uh, yeah, it's not even close to my uh, lobster waffles. But still going to be one of my favorites, I can tell. Uh, anyways, uh, beyond that, uh, thank you guys for buying a bunch of the uh, Yellowtail Snapper Drift Jigs. Uh, they kind of sold a little bit faster than I wanted to or was expecting, so I ordered another 27,500 of them <laughs> because I wanted to start selling them in other uh, areas, but uh, if I can't keep them on just my website, it's going to be a problem, so I ordered a bunch more. But uh, anyways, hopefully I'll be able to get out and start using those a bit um, and do some fishing. But uh, anyways, uh, thanks for watching and I will see you next video. Bye. Hmm. A little squash, a little lobster. Hmm.
Man, oh man. One of my favorites. 